Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here with Pragmatic Works. For this video, I'm gonna go back into SharePoint and what I'd like to do is show you how easy it is to embed a Power BI report inside of your SharePoint site. Let's jump right in. So here you have it. This is my SharePoint site that I'd like to have my Power BI report added into. And the, the real thing is starting here in SharePoint is what we want to do is we're actually adding in a web part, just like I've done in some other videos here where I can add in a form, I can add in uh, a list, I can add in other options here within my web parts. What I'd like to do this time is to be able to just simply add that in via Power BI. So in order to do that, I'm going to come over here and select edit in the top right corner. When you choose edit, all you need to do in here is decide where do you want to place this report? Where do you want to place this web part? In this case, I'm just going to put that right before my documents that I have here. So right at the top of the page, pretty much. And I click on this plus sign to add a new web part. And when you do that, all you need to do is you can see, you can scroll through here and see a lot of the different options is we're just going to search for and find Power BI. If you go scroll on down here, it's right there, right next to Microsoft Forms. When I click on Power BI, what it's then going to prompt me to do is to add a report here inside of my SharePoint site. If I click Add Report, you'll then notice that it's going to say, all right, what's the report link? Well, in order to do that, you actually need to go to Power BI and be able to get into the report you want and then utilize the URL that is up here. Now, with this URL that you have, Keep in mind what exactly you're grabbing from it. If I come up here and capture the entire URL, that's going to take this specific report section, this exact report page that I am currently on, the one that says by manufacturer. If I wanted to access everything here within uh, my, you know, within SharePoint, I can come up and just grab everything before the report section. Okay. If you take that from your URL, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then now I can paste that here in SharePoint. And once you do that, it's now going to go and try to find our report. There you go. I just hit enter there to add that in there. And now you can see there is our page name. And because I only took this part of the URL, I can access every single page. You can see here my page name. I can choose which page I want to show either one by manufacturer or the other that I have here um, that we had as our landing page. If you want to be able to access both, you can keep it like this and then just choose to keep the navigation pane on. You can also toggle this off. I tend to kind of clean this up and if I just want one page to do everything, I'll turn off that navigation pane right there. What I also like to do often is change our display from 16.9 to 4.3 which is just gonna give you a little bit more of a, like a broader view of the actual report itself. From there, there's a couple other additions that we want we might wanna add in here, like showing the filter pane. If you have the filter pane on or off, you can see here, it would be on the right-hand side. If you have filters on this page or any other page that you wanna show, maybe having the filter pane available is something you wanna do as well. In this case, I don't really need it. I'm just gonna keep it as is and let my user just use what I have in the report itself. And then the final one is this show action bar. The action bar is everything here at the top, or if you want to allow your users to export this, to share it, to do other things with it. Honestly, I like to turn this off. It does clean this up a bit more and it makes it just boom, there's the report. There are the visuals. There's everything that we need here for this specific piece. And if that looks good and you're ready to go, you can keep it as is. You can move it somewhere else. It's totally up to you. But if you like the way it is, you can see it as your draft has been saved. I'm gonna go ahead and republish my page here on my SharePoint site. Okay, it has been republished and there you are. I mean, it's right there. You can now see our market analysis. Everything's there. We can come in. We can even have this as a clickable dynamic option here because it is Power BI. We have all that here as our option and we're good to go. So as you can see, adding in or embedding this Power BI report inside of a SharePoint site 
it's actually pretty quick and pretty, pretty easy to do. So long as you know that we're using a web part to do it, just like we would work with a form or an image or a link or other things in our SharePoint site, adding Power BI directly in here is gonna be that simple and it's gonna make it that much easier for your employees to have all the information at their fingertips when they come here and enter the site. Thanks for joining me here once more, working with SharePoint this time. Hopefully you like this video, and if you like this one and others, go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button below so you can get more content from myself and all of us here at Pragmatic Works.